Welcome to Canyonlands. This is our fifth out of all five national parks here in Utah. In this video, we'll be ranking the big five national parks in Utah. Let's get started with number five. Capitol Reef National Park, known for the water pocket fold, a wrinkle in the earth 100 miles long. This park is over 242,000 acres, located in south central Utah in the heart of Red Rock Country. This park is mostly off-road and open to off-road vehicles only. The park's main feature, the fold, was the lowest in the totem pole when it came to the beauty of what Utah has to offer. Make sure to comment below if you disagree with us. Canyonlands is Utah's largest national park with over 337.5 thousand acres of land and water ready to explore. The Green and Colorado Rivers split the park into three major districts, Island in the Sky, the Needles, and the Maze. We are currently at the Mesa Arch. Services are very limited and the vast majority of the park is unaccessible to the general public. Just 10 miles from Moab, Island in the Sky Mesa sits a thousand feet above Canyonlands and provides the easiest access to the park with many pullouts and hiking. Bryce Canyon National Park is our number three and known for the highest concentration of hoodoos in the world. It's only 35,000 acres and is located in south central Utah. Bryce is visually stunning and perfect for sunrise or sunsets. There are tons of hiking trails and not to be missed starry night skies. Shuttle buses are available when parking is limited. If you want to hike the most popular trails, then check out the trailheads that start at Sunset Point and Sunrise Point. If you want to maximize your visit and you only have one day, we highly recommend visiting Bryce Amphitheater to see the most amount of hoodoos in one single spot. When we hear people say, There's rocks. We always think Arches National Park. This park has over 2,000 natural stone arches hundreds of soaring pinnacles, massive rock fins, and giant balanced rocks. Covering 767,000 acres in southeast Utah, lots of great hiking, very accessible, and well laid out. It's action-packed and laid out by the gods for sunset and sunrise. Uh, we are in Arches, and we are currently in Devil's Garden, and we are going to Landscape Arch, which is the quintessential arch here, besides Delicate Arch, in Arches National Park. Make sure you plan ahead. Arches National Park is one of the most visited in the nation. It gets very hot, and the height of the season, there's very little parking. Our number one is Zion. An iconic national park filled with amazing hikes along sandstone canyons, blue-green pools, streams, and wildlife. It covers 146,000 acres in far southwest Utah, only hours from Las Vegas. One thing to consider when planning a trip, this park is home to one of the deadliest hikes in the United States and is also the second busiest national park after Great Smoky Mountains. Shuttle buses run several times a day, but on limited hours. Be mindful of little to no parking in Zion and plan ahead. Now that we've seen all five parks, I think we'd like to tell you which of the five are our personal favorites. So I'll let you start. Uh, look, I'll be honest with you. Um, 2016, I think 17. it was? 2017 was the first time that we went to, well, Utah. Yep. And, um, Arches got a really crazy experience at Zion. At Zion, um, that's for another. That's a story for another day. Let us know in the comments if you want to know that story. But I think Arches. I think Arches has stolen my heart, and you know, just the the big red rocks. We love Sedona so much. Um, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. What about you? Um, I'm kind of torn between three. 
Bryce, Arches. Three. Yeah, I know. And Zion. But I think overall, because of that same story um, from Zion and also going through the Narrows on a secondary trip that I took, Zion definitely is a favorite of mine. And I think a lot of people probably would agree with that. Um, I would say Arches is a second, then maybe Bryce, maybe vice versa, but I'm going to stick with Arches yeah. as my personal favorite. If you have a favorite, let us know in the comments below which of the five parks in Utah is your personal favorite and let us know why. Absolutely. So, thanks for coming along with us, guys. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Give, and us, give one us one thumbs, thumbs up. up. One thumbs up. Just one. Just one thumbs up. Don't worry about the two. All right, guys. Do two thumbs up in your own space, but do one thumbs up for us on YouTube. We really appreciate it. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Later, guys. Bye. All right, what now?